Zhao Kalat headshot 1v3. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I can definitely see why this team are ready to go back in. I think this, could, I think this should be... Sure I have good faith that FPX can kind of look with, at the data that's out the there and at least have a closer before, game on this one. I mean, it was now, close. Though. It, it, this was overtime FPX last time, right? Kicking it off on Icebox. And this pistol will see FPX on the defensive side. I'm not sure... That I even it was over time last time I played this, yeah, 14-12, okay. But I think that when it comes to FPX, they're the ones with some pressure on their shoulders. They're trying to defend Okay, yeah, I remember right the shell clutch, yeah, the, the, the wall here, yeah, right, wall here, free. Okay, yeah, at 12-11. Yeah, yeah. Okay, FPX on defense, crew on attack. Uh, we have a three-man. I can probably put the casters up. Let's let's do this round and then let me, uh, let me know if I should put the casters up. Um, defensive wall. Yeah, yeah, for Dude, sure. good stack over towards... So they made pressure here, right? They made loads of sand here, but they didn't that. break this. So everyone's well, just... Comes to starting this out, are we going to see a Prowler or are we going to face this? No, second TP goes down, so we just face, they get good information. Um, and with that, we're going to rotate over. Can the sight hit be fast enough to only have one person here? Yes, it is. So Getsu gets hit by it as well, so he can't... Uh, I mean, he didn't have anything as well. So he bought armor. Interesting. This is a weird smoke as well, right? You see this smoke? Look like they're going to be able to delay. No utility really put out to try and weaken some of these players. They are just looking to go in as a full five. They've still got their wall for post plant, and there's the opening duel with Kaznet falling. Big kill from Ardis, dude. Ardis on chamber. That's where FX just looks so much better when this happens. Players are dancing around the side, bypassing each other. Ardis picks up another side angle for Angel, but it only keeps it into even numbers. Two v two. That's the wall plant. It's a good wall. Can this? The ham, nice decision with the wall, right? Nice decision with the wall. Just long, artist delayed enough time. It was very good from FPX. I thought that was great from them. But that was really good. Yeah, I'll definitely turn this up. I'll put it to like here. I'll put it to here, and then uh. We'll see. Yeah, artist did insane here. Three kills and then delayed like loads of time. In fact. One of the times they actually came close to beating Fnatic on this map. Yeah, it's a really good wall. It's, it's why, it's, I mean, Sage is so good on this. Side. When people plant here, you can do that one. And then when people plant here, you can do the same one as well. And as long as you get it close enough, they have to go to pretty far, like, angles on the side. So, it's really nice. We see the sm smoke over towards middle. Uh, no, we don't actually see the smoke over towards middle. They've certainly been so, the most yeah, just an eco. So we see the knife. Knife goes in, hits round. the viper. So they know that it's just a default now. Oh, that was like uh... a. Very awkward fight in mid. And the Zeno's gotten right up close. Luckily, they're more than aware of the space they're giving up. So they'll fight that off. Although at, at this point, it, they're dragging a lot of rotations, faking back to be late. If Artis goes down, that's a rifle. Oh, and it actually comes Oof. pretty close. Yeah, it actually did get pretty close. They at least potentially wouldn't have been able to get the gun. Dude, they're, they're actually dinking people. They're doing damage here. Sagetsu, can he clean up this? He does have a pistol, so he might just fight till the end. That's okay. FX lose the person with the pistol, so their money's still in a pretty good spot. Exactly. Look, they've taken the shields off pretty much everybody, but they want to drop those weapons. That's where the value is found. Angel's going out and about trying to find it, some more kills. He's got to heal up as well, so a bit more confident in taking those duels. And they've spotted Nax and he won't be able to use his pistol. Doesn't have any bullets in it anyways. He'll be taken down to close this round out 2-0. to zero. And that's exactly okay. what FBX wanted. Four players this was nice. The only the person with pistol really went down, but there's a lot of armor that has to get rebought. So let's keep an eye on what to get to. Okay, and this is. Oh. What's he done? Okay, he gets a guardian as well. So they all have. <laughs> He's re they're really thinking about it. They're really thinking. Okay, Shao feels more comfortable with the guardian. Nope. Oh my god. But he would still be <laughs> they changed. They changed so their buy like six times. There, they end up going for the sheriff, and they're basically just again using this fully as a bonus round, just making sure that uh, they have enough money. Sagetsu now does have enough for the operator if they want to. So that was. Uh, that was. Uh, that might be why. That might be why he was going for this. I think they might be prioritizing artists having the operator, which makes a lot of sense, man. Makes a lot of sense if we look over towards the fracture game that we saw when he just. Handily won that game on his own. So, big buy for crew here. Let's see what damage they can do. That is also. Yeah. He has like 18 hour days. 
and just basically stays up all night to make sure this team is prepared. So anything you did last time, they're going to be ready for. Exactly. I'll tell them when That's I'm not talking. Okay, yeah. Down more heavily over to the A side. Because, okay, they've seen our B set up quite a lot. Double Let's throw down the screen on that side and now push into the A side instead. That's exactly it. Now for FPX, their A retake was tested a bit. We saw it in the pistol round and it was... It's quite solid hold out of them. A wall up nice to util going to the spawn spot here. Attempting Definite delay is in. The thing is, we're going to have a three man rotation. Dude, I'm a bit worried for crew at the moment. Time's going to get a little bit low. They still have their wall, and they've broken this wall. I would probably like to see another segment of that wall, but it still creates the same amount of pressure. Okay, now here's the hit. This guy's done great, actually. Four people in front. Can they kill Angel? Yeah, they, hey, they dealt with this really well. I, I like just the sheer numbers that went through the through the uh, actual Viper War itself, right? They pushed forward with four people. So even though the first kill went down, there was just so many numbers. And everyone went, everyone did pretty good. They had two people swinging over here, one person on top, and then one person um, on 410. So I like their positions. What can artists do in terms of damage? Only one. So it's a nice from crew they get res into this as well so is artist going to get bought uh, operator is sagatu sagatu is going to have to go no armor if he does do that okay i saw the odin on no okay did you get a little bit excited i did i did no no he's not going to be happy but uh why is fpx giving a so much you saw the amount of util that went in, right? They're, they're just trying to, they're just trying to get some. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it, but they're just trying to just delay a lot to get the rotates there. They, they didn't have the guns for us to properly like say whether it's working or not. Especially on that defensive side, That's nice though. They put the knife down. They do their own knife. <laughs> Two crew have done homework though. You see them. You see them do knife, take pressure, and then instantly fall back for the knife, and then go aggro back. That was really good. They've really looked into like the tendencies of FPX. Here. This is a big fight for B main. Three people. So much util is getting used. I haven't pushed Arge up off this spot. And the best thing is that. Uh, best way, thing other than that kill for uh, FPX, because that's a huge kill, is that they use most of the util, right? They they broke most of the util from crew, so crew are going to have a real rough time into this. Especially with Ardis in this spot and the jump. And the jump. Okay, knife goes close. Ardis tanks it, so we can't get out. Yeah, yeah, they've known. Okay, crew have done good homework, right? Crew have done good homework. That knife hit there, and then you instantly where he's probably going to be. Ardis, um, because his teammate was there, probably felt like he had to stay there. Good thing for FX is there's so many people here. Whoa, Sagetsu. That was nice. Good overrow. It, it was a bit of a... It was just a massive risk, honestly, with the rotate, right? I think they've looked into crew. I think they've looked at the fact that they like to five man hit a lot. I remember speaking about it. They descended, they used to overwhelm, right? Five man. That's all they did. All they did last time they played this was five man hit onto sites and, and FPX couldn't stop it. So FPX instantly just heavy rotates wherever they see instant pressure. Wherever they see one or two people, they're just rotating everyone like it's five. Um, and so far the gamble's working off. So nice that both the teams are kind of looking into the old game and learning from it. This Viper's pit on command. That was sick from Sagetsu, though. Just but in case he was be yeah. by that knife, which crew just didn't expect that many that people there, to be honest with you. Denied. Right, the res in the open, hey. not enough swings. All right. well, Dude, they're dominating this the area as well. It's back to back. back you think maybe we'll try so that pushes crew onto Eco. Artis has his ult now. Sagetsu put his ult up, and Shao has his ult. Angel one kill away from his ult as well. So. Yeah, get that <laughs> Two ults, uh, two ults against an eco. Yeah, so Ardis won. Holy hell. Ardis is one is pretty fair. And then, honestly, so how I used to always approach the game was it's so fine to overuse your ults at the beginning just because you're trying to get economy in the best place possible. Right, so nice res coming in. So that's three ults used against an eco. But again, when you're, if you can somehow use all your ults and you keep all of your, uh, and you keep your guns alive, right, you keep everyone alive, and they you and you manage to stack up uh, economy really on, uh, really early on. I think it's so worth just overusing ults. That was always like my theory is just at the beginning of the game, just overuse your ults. If, if you're questioning on using it and you think it's an okay time to use it, just just do it.
Who are you and what have you done with Yeah, you keep chamber ult if you get res. Same with Viper ult. Uh, same, sorry, same with uh, jet ult. going to make sure that they're not going to get away with too much more. Nax has already had to retreat and actually pulls out the Tordor Force. Oh, dude, Ardis is a beast at the moment. Nice round from them. Three stay alive, so it's not too bad. Three people stay alive. Not using the Viper's Pit, but using the Tour de Force. The thing is, uh, he, he can afford an Operator going down. into this round yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's not it's really that much of a loss. It, it's something like we, we've seen. So they're know, happy with that. Honestly, yeah, Crew will probably be happy that they got Everybody's two kills and that they used three ults. But, um... But the, yeah, you said it. They dragged out a lot of ults. The thing is for FBX... It's I mean, they kind bad. of used an ult as well, not but... particularly costly, and they're at least earning up a little bit of extra cash along the way. And you can see Ardis, again, off to a flying star, but also having the Operator of his own. So it's going to be the first time we Angel now battle. with his ult and all Zipan's going to be close to his ult. So Crew have a very good chance to take this in terms of ults. Yeah, that's the thing. FPX had this Waiting just a little bit longer with the knife and that delay managed to get two people with the knife. So nice from Zipan so just to delaying to when he normally uses the knife and, like Ardis and Ardis actually catches two of them there. So that was really good. It's a massive first kill from Ardis as well. You're not taking Ardis's utility away. He has got a way out for the rest of this round. And he is currently Angel's looking, looking crispy. Yeah, that's a very good sign for FBX. When Angel looks crisp, this team is super scary. When Angel's maybe going a little bit aggro and he's not that crisp, it's uh, that's when probably FBX are at their weakest. And hopefully that drags FBX rotations. But as we can see, it is not. Uh, the thing is as well with the composition switch. Like, you're going to need much Huge more involved. in terms of Oof. the raise being aggressive. Whereas with the Man. KO, you can basically just use that knife for Oh, this looks scary at angles. the moment. There's a lot less risk in everything that FPX are doing. And then you've also just got Ardis roaming the map. And well, he's got support from Zip. FPX this looks scary at the moment. What is going on? They're hitting everything. Multiple individual jewels. This looks way better from them. A three -man lead. Um, no space has been good on Ardis to switch sites. Yeah, he's moving They're the operator, the operator around a lot, right? He's, I mean, both teams won nine he, not that he had the operator when he was playing these areas, but he's moving around a lot, right? These area, these kind of zones when he's had the operator. So it's been, it's been good from him. He's uh he's been very unpredictable. He's been we've already we're already six rounds in and we've already seen him just play multiple positions. So can they get this last kill as well? That's good information to get to distracting Zipan jumping in. FPX looking honestly. Dom like really dominant right now. I'm super worried for crew. Looks like they might have been worked out. Ardis said in the interview that they know exactly what they do. You're gonna so have to pay it is kind of looking like so, that. So far, you're paying for it with your life. They're gonna yeah. make the exchange now, where utility is gonna be used a lot more liberally. It's gonna be thrown into clear angles. You'll be flashing. What is that peak from Sagetsu, where, where he just carries on? Example, there's a peak where you like carry on running and then you wait for your opponent to stop and then you shoot because it's a lot harder to shoot the. Uh, and you can see like it's a lot harder to shoot you when you carry on running. So people do like people are starting to do like proper wide swings. At the moment, they've been allowing. Like Soulcast used to always do it. Pop in swing. Yeah, I think that's the guy that's made it famous. I think it's been a, I think it's been a thing for a long time, and, and that guy's just made it like his own thing. Been having a very solid game. Kesnit has been able to get one, but even still at the back of this site, he's just causing them issues. Even takes a third with him, and now only the stingers remain. Still that pit online that okay. could be dangerous. I know he didn't get the last kill, but he was hard to hit. Zip there angle. it is. The pit's going to be used, and this is the right moment for it. You're up against Artist with an Operator. Not going to be easy for him to garner that value. In fact, he will abandon that scoped weapon where he's found so much success. The man is eating okay, crew. Rifle. This isn't easy. I mean, this would be a great round for them to win. Pit, it makes Mazzino's stinger an off, almost, if he manages to catch you at the right time. Even just trying to slow them down. And misleading them as well. That's slow. They know exactly where that came from. So you can see all the angles that are needing to be cleared. And Mazzino is just patiently waiting for this push to come around the back line. So as you mentioned, if they go into this pit, the more deadly he becomes by the second the time. There is crazy, got desperately isn't wrong. It? He's still going to spot out Xiao. Too easy. Artist with an operator just wants to save no it. To They're kind of the fine with this round as well. They they, they killed a few. They're gonna break. Uh, this at least means that the two nine loss bonus goes back into a one nine. One goes down as well, so that's a little bit. They like that as well. The gun does get picked up though, so. That was a very nice round for crew though. They need to try and get more. What the hell is that? That is. That's disgusting. One of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. Uh, wow.
That's got to be frustrating. But despite that little trick, Chat, they I've don't never win seen that. Proof that is ahead. crazy. Now, Nah, they know about it. They know about it. That's that's on purpose, man. That is on purpose. How on earth do you replicate that? Burn down that timer of the round. Sneak a guy through mid. Sneak a guy onto A for the early info. And every time they would run into. That's a hundred percent intentional. One hundred percent. They up the pace. They don't hit the side artists on, but they managed to make it in. I'm expecting. How do you make that happen? That's kind of cool. Much more heavy pressure. Um, push in. But then the question is. How are FPX going to approach the well, that, hold? You're probably not going to have success with just running in there a second. That's the thing. The, the thing that FPX have done to make this very awkward for them, and that's why I think we've seen Zipan move away from the raise, is the amount of information they can now get without having to take as many risks is a hell of a lot more. So, like, you think about last time they were trying to hold... The they have defense. to have asked the admins about that? Probably. Probably. And in most cases, they only traded evenly. Now you have Ardis pushing aggressively with a get-out-of-jail-free card, and then you have the knife, which gives them everything they could have ever needed, and some delay utility as well. So, it's a it's lot a wall easier from for them to do that. Seeing, for example, the Grim of Vipers. Okay. A little bit more Jinzled. Nonchalant. He's gonna throw it in like. Maybe oh, okay. I have to check this guy out. If that's the kind of stuff that he's got team, going on. Has the to back it up. So the maybe I write his name down right now eyes, and check it out. If, that, if what the you're saying is true. The way that they're playing are massive. I mean, even just a round or two ago, they used the fatal to yeah. protect the fate. They threw it out. So like, okay, he's a nerd. Okay, we like nerds. Knife hits four people. Okay, important round. Right, this is an important round. I'm about to circle everyone that can't buy next round. Okay, Look so it's three on each team. It's, it's uh, let's think. He's going to have one nine, so Delza can't buy either. So here we go. Important round. Three people from FPX can't buy. Ardis will be able to drop one. Ardis, as we talk about him. Look, chat, you see this as well. They know they five man. As soon as, as, soon as there is any kind of util on the other sides of the map, they are either pushing or they're doing a huge rate rotate like this. FPX have really kind of worked out how crew like to play. So Ardis wasn't, uh, Ardis wasn't lying in his interview. You when he said that. Out of that and that's a very successful push for crew still with the wall <laughs> to use right they now. plant and then they get the wall placing it down just to try and again delay them on the rotation they've done well here just almost disrespect still hard though the but these guys are going to be scattered behind because that's where Ardis was so as soon as Ardis takes a shot then then they know uh look at this though Shao has his wall okay so this round is all about Shao can we uh can we wall oh my gosh fury to confirm they're not on it and we reset again more passive it could have been, but they went out. They wanted to take some of these fights. And now <gasps> Holy the hell! He nearly won that. Three kills if he had nice round from that Crew, and this is what they this is what they do, were doing on the other ice box, right? Even uh, and and it's it's kind of more impressive now because a lot of the times they were five manning on, over towards sites and they were overwhelming the three people. They're now kind of overwhelming the four people that are here because the rotates are so fast and uh, and FPX have like a really good read on them. So uh, that I mean that was doable. That was actually very doable in the end. There that was close, but I uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's impressive. <laughs> well, we'll keep an eye on again, if they can keep five manning and keep winning with the five man because if they start losing the five man hits onto site, then they have to change something up. But. Has been very, very good. That's what FPX has tried to deny throughout this game, and this is the first time they failed. Neon, I think they just, I think they just think that they're gonna. I think they just think that they're gonna wall, right? So they're kind of waiting for the wall as like the is like the ghost input to actually use their util, but then they never see the wall. So it, it's weird. Right. They go down to eco. They go down over to an eco. Artist buys a hero operator. Is great, but if you keep going forward, you're running into a firing squad. You'll lose the sight. They'll walk in and plant an artist and has to save. He's very cringe, Viper. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's good. I like how cringe it's just turning into like. You know when you call someone like a geek and it's kind of like a compliment. That's kind of where cringe is going. Down into this B side. As I said, it's, they had so much success there prior, but the spam from Chow has actually managed to completely remove Kesnit from this scenario. Now they do manage to get themselves the ball, but again, Chow just swinging. Wait, <laughs> FBX are hitting some shots, by the way. But instead, he's already managed to force back. No, another. it's not. I'm telling you, man. I, the way that I'm doing it. When people are saying cringe, right cringe, I'm just like, yeah, I'm probably gonna like it then. But now, oh, he's actually gotten him. Some of these shots the are crazy. Now okay, one v two. On there. They tap the diffuse. They could be oh, on that's a caught. big he's win from them. The Shao. I mean, everyone hits some shots. Shao hits some shots. Artis hits some shots. 
damn, they actually get fully ecoed. And again, you're, you're just seeing this over rotate, right? Look at like they're over rotating. FX have just worked them out. Crew are just playing the most. And again, it's Icebox. I get it, but it is the most simple type of Valorant you will ever see. Just five man. This this is this is what this is what people do in rank, like straight up. And that's not a flame. I'm just saying, it, like this is what is happening. They are just five manning. Just instead of showing any pressure towards any other site, it is five manning. They're just like, which, where are we going? A or B? Someone says B, and they just go, right, let's, let's five man it. It's real simple. That's just Icebox to an extent, but like if, if, you're, if the other team know about it, it's hard to do. Where's the 3K collats? Come on. Three rounds left to secure it. I'd look for crew. Uh, okay, yeah, I've, 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 uh, I wrote this guy's name down because. Had to go back to the um, board. Both you, intimately familiar because yeah. How they First of all, I love Keen stuff. Second of all, it sounds like a lot of you are. Wouldn't be surprised to see crew have that. Send me the lineup in, in DMs. Thank you, dude. So far, FPX have looked incredibly clean. Crew yeah, they did the unreal on on the on Icebox attack last time. They five man though, right? And, and the thing was. The, if you look at the other Our FPX crew game, game, what happened was they just five manned every time, and we didn't see these kind of rotates, right? You, you didn't have heavier rotates. We didn't see anywhere near the kind of rotates we did. So it's such a good, um, such a good change up from FPX, just, just being like, dude, they can't do it. Like, if this is how they want to play, we can just over rotate fully. They're still a little bit nervous, but as we can see, five man. Snake fights and slows even being thrown in. And they've only got 35 second Mitch. They have to move soon. They absolutely do. And Shao's watch. Holy Shao's hell, that's a shot. Some of these shots we're seeing are crazy. As long as he can. But that timer, it might not be so comes up. What are the pings like? The they've carved out for themselves. The plant, the wall being broken open, but I think we're still safe. The spike is going to go down. So will the player planting, but they've now got the time on their side. They still need to win the duels with disadvantages. Kesnit. He has his ult, or importantly, he has the Vandal. We've lost Klaus, the pistol player, for a bit of oh information, but the trade is the there. The W2 though is actually pretty good. Flash didn't strong. hit Delzic, though. Than expected. It's only oh, Angel nice round from Delzic. Delzic. Yeah, there were some shots there. At chat. Just in this game in general, there are some shots getting in. get away with this low by round. They could equalize. I guess balance has been restored, kind of. Yeah, like you had sure. Xiao managing to win the round with the Sheriff. And now, now you've had that on the other side with just some crazy shots being connected. Again, it, it is just. Mm, I try not to swear on stream. I swear a lot normally. Down, I'm trying like to um because because I'm starting to do like some broadcast stuff as well. I'm really trying to get into better habits. And to almost play back into the point you so, made a moment ago. That's pretty much you that. You have to bear in mind the trade out that FPX have made. Never mind. Underscore TV. Rating, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Welcome into the slug club. Thank you, dude. So Thanks for using your prime on me. Being lost, I still think Zipan can do a lot with the KO, like being able to flash into angles and take those fights. But I do think the elevation that they've lost will be. Shut up, think man. Think about how many times he just instantly blast packed into that upper B position. Like that was something he did almost every single round. Yep. He cannot do that anymore. So. I do agree that I thank you for the kind words really as well. Never mind, appreciate it. Oh, okay. Last time it was nine rounds on both attack halves. Yep. It's not as damning as it might seem. Yeah, in the same way that FPX have fielded a very strong defense, kind of expect the crew, having picked this map, having gone back and studied, and with the changes made to FPX, they shouldn't be having a weak second half. They'll know that. This time out from FPX, I think, is even pointing towards it. Yeah. They don't want to end up equalizing. They need every inch that they can get in this half here. Yeah, of course. Both teams facing elimination. Both teams. Okay, let's see how the last two rounds go. It's still been five man. Okay, we crew have crew have decided, decided to change up the, the from uh from hit B <laughs> to, <laughs> to hit A. It's um. This is this is why, in my opinion, again, Icebox. I would be so fine if they decided to get rid of Icebox because it's it's uh it's pretty one-dimensional. I'm not saying that it's always as. I'm not saying it's like this all the time, but this is a good example. He used up all his power in the first few rounds. It seems a few whiffs that might actually cost them. Mazino's managed to find Angel trying to be a bit cheeky, sneaking through, and the remaining couple. Well, so I guess he's at least managed to get a rifle. He's had some nice rounds so far. Yeah, no, just game. overwhelming them. That wasn't pretty to start us out there. Could be a completely different round that we're facing into. A few missed shots. Honestly, though. Leaves it down to economy. Honestly, damage. I think that's the first time in potentially this tournament where Artis has been on chamber and, and missed some shots. 
Like he has been really good this tournament. That's like the first time I can actually remember. I think it's financially they can the, buy. So that's the first time I've looked at Ardis in a situation with an operator and think he should have done better. Out of the whole tournament, it. so that's a pretty good sign. The biggest of differences going into the next one. Delzik, I, I actually want to highlight me. I feel like he's had some really Last high impact. Have to include on chamber, yeah, because because the because the, the cipher didn't really hit. Let's team. be honest. It's another one where I feel like we lean into crew being quite top heavy in terms of the fragging sure. ability. Like you've got Kesnit, Mazino, Nags. Is very How do you think down, Icebox mid can be improved? Icebox mid doesn't need to be improved. It's the rest of the map that needs to be improved. Icebox mid is actually really good. Shows that maybe there's a bit more depth. Right. The the whole design of Icebox Middle is is pretty well, good. Like this this is a good mid. This this and this uh, is where, in my opinion, is where it's like not the the best. Because because no joke, crew have literally just five man the whole time, and that is what how a lot of teams approach this map. From the scenarios he wants to be in, like in the early rounds, yeah. think about how far uh, Flamey, he's getting his you, openers. Now he has to TP away before he can even take a shot. And already you see a drone. It's really narrow. Yeah, but it's kind of good because it's like if you fight really, really early on, it's like you're rewarded right for fighting it a little bit because it's multiple avenues. Right, you can you can fight one bit and you can you can get, and it's worth three. So I, I like stuff like that in maps. It's good. It means it's a heavy point of contention. It means that there's reasons for this smoke is like perfect. But like when sites are when sites look like this, and you can yeah, the, the A site you can just five mana. It's, uh, the Viper Mollies were really good here from Sigetsu. Oh, the Utils been really good this round from FPX. And it leaves Mizzino alone. We saw him pull off a one Mid leads to nothing, no, but it, it leads. It, it, it has three avenues, right? So it actually does create a lot of pressure if you get middle. It was a so it, it does lead to something, especially if you break this trip. But what was looking like an incredibly dangerous position, Mitch? It's winnable. I thought I thought maybe they could scrape together an okay round, but actually, in, or an okay. If I could take a map. In the end. Mm. Five seems like a pretty Tuscan. good recovery. Tuscan would be a good well, I'm map for Valorant. I'm not sure about uh, this next half, though. You know what? Um, I'm sure our analyst desk is. Yeah, I mean, look, let's be honest. That did not start pretty for crew at all. FPX looked like they were slaying. Welcome to the half, everyone. Golden Boy here along with Mimi and Brandon. Let's just jump right into this one, Brandon. Talk about one of the players that has been popping off this game. Artist, yep. right out of the gate. So impressive from him. Guys, we dominated that was, uh, the chamber. He's been enabled really well uh, as well. We, we kind of commented on that. I mean, FPX are, FPX are looking good. But FPX were very, FPX were the very match on match top of um, initial match versus how crew like to play. Now, today, the numbers are just really amplified. And this Ve very on top. I think they did great with the over rotates I think they I mean this was a much better start than last time yeah it'd be good now right it's a it's a good map for it but also the guy is also just hitting his shots it's an important factor to it's perfect right you can go aggro and you can it's such a good it's such a I mean Tuscan in general is such a good map such a well made map was really good to get him on these angles to get him in the fight with the operator with that headhunter when they are playing these retakes artists I don't know everyone flamed Valorant maps when they came out at the beginning and I think it was a little bit too to harsh because I think Haven's one of the best de designed. I personally think Haven's one of the best design maps I've seen. And everyone was just like, wow, Haven, what a bad map. And I'm there just looking at him thinking like, this is a genius de like designed map. I think I think Haven's great. Haven is a, is a fundamental map in terms of team play. It's so good. It's such a good map. It's one of the, it's one of the best. I strongly believe Haven's one of the, the best designed maps I've seen. And so when people came out and they were like flaming it and using Haven as an example. I'm just there like, what are you, what are you guys, how does your brain work? Because I'm looking at it as one point of contestant for two things. I'm looking at it as perfect. Do you get rewarded for mid-rounding or on both sides? Oh, I just think it's such a good map. Yeah, he's been quiet thus far. This so I don't know what other people saw. Ascent, Ascent, Ascent right, is a great well, you heard from our yeah. analysts to see how this plays out in the second half. Mitch I don't know. I, 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 felt like, I felt like at the beginning of the game, there was a lot of good maps. And I, and I feel like everyone flames the maps. And then I'm just there looking at the maps thinking, 
I think they're pretty good. Other other than maybe other than obviously a lot of tight corners in terms of like shotguns and stuff. That's definitely a little bit annoying. I think most of the time they were, they were forcing him back with utility, so it wasn't uh, they were killing yeah. him off. And I think the crew made some decent adaptations. I do, however, think they need the pistol. Like last time they were fighting from an advantage, still didn't manage to take it over the line. Now I love split. I thought split was. And well, I thought split was so good. As well. Straight away, Angel the one finding that kill. He took a shot. But he gave one better crew. Bind? Okay, I'll give you bind. Into a retake. That wall I'll give you bind. I, don't, I didn't so think bind. I don't think bind is that good. I'll give you that. Down, they're kept back for a moment. Still, in the end, you see this wall is buying them more than enough space. They've lost Artis in the meantime, though. A valuable pick for crew. I'll give you bind. But when people were giving already. when people were giving Haven as an example of, of, of why the maps aren't good, that was when I realized that no one knew what they were talking about. Oh boy, okay, that's a huge kill. Shao, dude, they decided to all play close because he has his wall. Good comms that came in, right? They knew that they knew that Mazzino had wall. They have pistols, so they don't have a chance to spam the wall, so they all decided to play close. They really wanted to kill the sage. It was a good idea from FPX, but crew played this very well. It was all down to that Mazzino kill. Yeah, I like the idea from FPX. That's why they decided to play close, though, right? The comms came in. They probably knew from other pistols that they liked to save the, the wall. And you saw the instant decision. When they were falling back, someone made some kind of call. I imagine it was Angel, and it was just like, guys, they have wall. We have to fight close. So I like the idea from FPX. I thought the call was good. Um, Mazzino got so many important kills, especially that first 1v1. If he goes down there, the rest of the team can fall back, and they know they're not going to wall it. So I thought this was a good call from FPX, but crew played it well. Especially Mazzino deserves like a massive shout out for that. Anchor causing issues for the team as they try to get in, so it'll be interesting to see if he's going to be able to move himself even further up the scoreboard. Snake bites a denier early control. Brewer. Sagetsu, <laughs> Chad, does Sagetsu have a sheriff to go for that? I hope. I know there's two players here now. If you're on the side of FPX, you know that you just, just went for a little bit of a. A little bit of an ego peak at the beginning. They weren't ready for him to be tucked in in that nasty little corner. More How clean can crew keep this? Delvic and this eco, not off to a fantastic start. They, I, they at least got the orb for their troubles. <laughs> yeah, and then they get slaughtered. Prime gaming flawless to take things home, of course. Believe him, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate the comments. And don't worry about it, man. It's absolutely fine. It's not like they're going in low on a couple of players. Every as long as you're in chat and watching, bro, I absolutely so don't mind at all. It's good to have you here. A little more risky. Maybe have a deep B push up or the same on the other side because ultimately they are going to have a big weapon disadvantage going into this round. K Buds, thank you so much. Chat, let's get some slugs in for K Buds with the Prime new member. Appreciate it. Has the benefit of, of the headhunter, but outside of that, your bulldog Thank on you, Klaus dude. locking down mid, but on the sights, you gotta get close. You gotta tuck into those corners. Now, it looks like exactly what we what you said, Tom. That B push has come through. Okay, bonus round goes close, in. They get they chamber close. They have no the idea about him. This could be interesting. Chamber v chamber off, while the other three are creating pressure. It's going to be a very different one. So FPX playing like more of the map, splitting up a little bit. You can already see the rest of the team. Anyone close to their ult? Not really. For some sort of aggression. Shout to. It's very patient from FPX. So FPX done good here. Create a lot of pressure over towards A. We create a question mark here, and they are pretty much just waiting for some kind of aggro push into these areas. So they might expect this. That's the trip. Yeah, they're definitely expecting this. Angel. Oh, that was nice. That's the spike. That's a lot of info. Let's keep an eye on the rotate. What does that do with with that? Spike goes down. They don't over rotate obviously because they can go all the way back to A, which I imagine they will be doing. As FPX, I see players are actually creeping up on A. The spike being okay, does this guy get information here so we can have a heavy rotate? And these two have just crept up the whole time. They've got so much distance without being spotted. That's good info now. We're going to have a rotate. What's the util like? Is it going to stop a plant? Yeah, looking like it because the plant was so far behind right to the That's incredible. He's so good. What a beautiful double. Yeah, they relied on Mazzino's wall to maybe try and push them into position. A nice couple okay. of kills, though. Swinging back almost instantly. This round is looking far more competitive than maybe it should do with the timing. Dude, dude, it's worked out yeah, wonderfully what? for Nags. Oh it's my gonna God. go down into the one versus one. Saigetsu with a huge weapon advantage here and only five bullets left. 
to try and get something done with oh this my God. He's going to have to switch over to the Sheriff. But well, the this is a mad just one. not connecting. Needs one to that head, and it's going the other direction. Just three HP. Oh, my God, chat. What's going on? Okay, insane bonus from crew, though. Right, insane bonus from crew. That was very winnable. They do a lot of damage. That was, um... Yeah, that wasn't... That was, that was really nice from Shao, though. We've got to... We've got to keep on that. That was nice from Shao to get it into that situation. What a weird round this was, I'm not going to lie. When the guy peeked um, over towards Elbow and he and he saw the dude in the back as well, that was, it, like all of that felt so weird. I'm going to circle everyone that can't buy. A full rotation almost we had we had some five mana. Right, it's a huge round, right? Absolutely huge round to kind of determine who's going to take the lead into this half. So guess who's the only person that can buy next and is going to have like this? Big, big all into this round is Shao's res, um, and that's pretty much it. So good pressure over towards A. They have the chamber here, and they have two people that can kind of just... So this is nice from crew, though, right? They get early information here, and there was pressure here. They've now cleared it. So they get early info. They can TP out, and then they have these two that can use the Uto to clean here. Viper looks like they've heard some stuff. Let's check out the rotate. Is it fast enough? How fast the FPX? Incredibly fast. Angel is crazy. He is so crazy. The spacing is not there to trade, and he's just running at them. What a... Is going that? Into that is so mad. Neil, are you in this chat? One, he is crazy. Four more, three more you cannot tame this guy. Yeah, I, I know he knows all the basics and all the fundamentals, like I'm 100% sure, but it's just like he calls, it's, <laughs> it's like he calls, like, right, let's, let's go, let's go, guys, we're going in, then he doesn't, like, check his minimap, doesn't care about anyone else not being close, and then he was like, he's just out swinging, everyone else is over here. <laughs> Mate, I mean, it's a, it's a kind of lead by example thing, thing, but like, in terms of someone that like, I don't know, man, I don't know how I can break that so one down. He is just sending it. It's not, it's not the right play, but it's working. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else it can say. <laughs> yeah, no way. No, I don't know. It's like when um, there's some people that just can't be tamed. And, uh, and it's looking like it's Angel. But the, <laughs> the thing that's mad for me is like, that's the IGL, right? That's the guy who should be like enforcing all the spacing and everything. Like, look at him go. Look where the rest of his team was for that kill. Chat, they're, they're not even at the plant spot. Like, the, if, if, if someone wanted to try to trade that no joke it would be about three seconds until the next swing could come in to trade it that is crazy he's so i mean he hits the kill like he hits the kill he's done what it <laughs> into such a big round as well it's such a big round we get the uh we get the eco coming out i mean it's a i call this an eco it's a really good low buy it's a really insane low buy good thing for crew um is if well no matter what happens in this round they're gonna have a lot of ults afterwards get pushed off I think he's gotten out of that situation smelling of roses. He should have smelled of something else. He's following up on the utility. Yeah, but it's still like, it's not, um, I, I, I get what you're saying. There's like a Viper Molly here. I get it. Uh, it's still, <laughs> it, uh, it's, it's still not the right spacing. It's still not the right spacing, but it paid off. It's just a little bit crazy for me to watch. That's it. That's all it is. It's fine. It reminds me of a little bit when I was in Liquid. That stuff used to happen all the time. Young people just absolutely send it. <laughs> or Scream would absolutely send it. It's, it's something that is just built into, pl into players. That are there, the op has picked another. Uh, this is starting to look pretty poor. FBX need to get a duel on their side. Pop the ultimate to try and bridge the gap slightly. But short of a big fight here and now, this is going to be tough to hold on to. 
thing is the weaponry. There's a huge disadvantage at the moment oh. for Kroom. Well, Artis just turns it back into their favor. It's left all on to Mazzino. Oh, Damn, gets the, timing in, the individuals of FPX look so good at the moment. A triple, and he's had a few of those throughout especially this half, Sha Especially Shao, Artis. I mean, actually, all of them. All of them are having their moments. They really are. All of them are having their moments. They look sick. So many ults up. We've got three ults into this round. The fact is, though, uh, do you think fundamentals of Valorant differ? Um, I mean, you. this game is more... Okay, first of all, the fundamentals are, are very similar from for a lot of stuff. Um, but I definitely think, think you don't have to be as disciplined. Like, your it's your reactive stuff can can be a bit... Uh, it's more on, like, reactive stuff. You can, um... It's, it's just a different game. Exactly, it does depend. It's what Vanity said. It does depend on your agent a lot. It really does. This is their last time out as well. It's not, it's, I wouldn't say it's as strict uh, as like CS. It's not as strict. You can, you can be a little bit more, I don't want to say individual, but it can be a little bit more um, riskier, I guess, with some of the stuff, or at least on the right agents, you can kind of take risks. It's definitely more reactive, for sure. Like, you, it's, a, it's a lot more to learn, and it's a lot more like judgment based. Either you're losing any map control, which was a huge part of the plan, like you have to gamble rotations much more quickly, or you're just being it's, um, isolated and have to fall back okay. and give up. Okay, let me let me kind of describe it in in a, in a simple way, where we're, we're in like in a comparison. Um, in this game, if you're all on, as long as in this game, if you're all on the same page, you can do the wrong thing, and it has way more chance of working out in this game. Okay, I think that's the best way for me to sum it up. I think the entirety of the tournament. As long as, long as you're doing it all together, you have a way better chance. Oh, that fight on mid is won by Nags. Of course it is. In terms, in terms of this game to other games, I think, I think you guys can kind of get what I'm saying with them. Let me get a little bit. Oh, that's just mean. To rhythm is now being killed twice in a single round. I like how Kesney feels it. Crazy clean. How's Delza killed? Yeah. Just catching every oh, Delzik has just Delzik popped really stuff. really has been on fire today. A prime gaming flawless to give another round over to crew. It's not necessarily something I think will be repeated. A lot of ult like use the there. You've not only it's fine though. Everyone can... Uh, position, ooh, I thought the money was better than this. Ready to throw the pot flashes, ready to aggress with it, and you have the ult ready just to counter out the res. They were very much... Damn, that was such a clean round from him. Two tapping everyone. That was really nice. around middle, it's self-explanatory, the tour de force. You had the Hunter's Fury, you had the follow-up aggression from Kesnet. It was a fantastic plan on the mid-crunch, but if Delzik falls... I mean, he is Hill, having an absolute two, game, honestly. That round is he's 20, he's 22 and 10. He has single-handedly locked that one down for them. And given them the life Angel all, Ardis all. Uh, so one person... Okay, yeah, so... Shout, uh, sorry, Angel takes the hit on this one with the Guardian. So someone had to take a hit into this one. Uh, we do have some light arms coming in. Okay, this is a big round. It's a big round for FPX. If they lose this, they have to eco. It's a very important kill. Zipan looked actually. Zipan has looked like one of the better, if not the best, in FPX in terms of this tournament so far, which is really it's a very good sign for them because in Copenhagen he only really showed up in the last two games to to the standard that he did online. It's a very important round. Knife. Hits them, so that's the go signal. They know that they hit the chamber, they know that the ult's up. So they have like eight seconds where they have to kind of push and try and go in. And he won't be able to survive long enough to get it back online. Nags on a tear, taking head after headshot, and oh, he's gonna drop down below. He's heard the steps. He knows at this point they've got to sprint. Double Molly doesn't doesn't reach. Doesn't get there in time. Nice decision from Nagzet. The Mollys just didn't reach. And like we said, big round for them to lose. Crew. Looking good to take 10 10 here. They are uh, they're gonna have a low buy. They get 2 4 after that loss, right? So 2 4, they managed to have a okay. But... Oh. He's gonna be gutted with that one. Again, Big round for crew. Power, ultimately for FPX, but a huge play coming out from Nag, starting to step up. They played that well though, right? Knife hit, rounds, knife hit Ardis. Good, good awareness of just all is up. Knife hit him. That's that's the go FPX. signal. We all need to go right now. So it was good. It was very, very good. Why did they not wait for the flank? I mean, they couldn't. They couldn't really. 
They couldn't really wait for the flank, right? They were the they got exact on. As soon as, as soon as the knife hit, the wall was up, right? They wanted to play in front of the wall. So as soon as the knife hit, that was the go thing. So they they tried to delay, but the knife was up, so they couldn't delay. Like Ardis and someone else got hit by the knife, so they didn't have much delay. Ardis needs to TP. He got hit by the knife. He can't TP. I think if they take the map, he's not going to mind. But Zeno is normally so solid from those positions, but he's isolated out. The early fight that benefited them so much quickly diminished. And again, there's nothing to really get them back into this position. They've been able to take out Sputo. Kesner's just going. His teammate's not particularly how, close behind. In fact, how they're going that? in one how, by how one. Just picked apart. That's it's madness. not what we expected to see from Crew, especially after the last couple of rounds. And while Nags, he's now just trying to hold on to that operator, bring something through with him, and instead he chooses to fight and lose Troll is so crazy. Ardis, do you want it? Yes, Ardis does want it. Okay. It will be secured. FPX, happy to use it on the attack, of course. But someone like Ardis roaming around, he's more than happy to get that Oh back boy, interesting heads. decision here for crew. That round is devastating. I mean, even the retake, the fact that they go in for oh, that. Oh, they go for it. This is clear here. You have a Spectre, a Bulldog. Three players were still alive. And it's not going for the 3VX. I'm not against that. It is just the context. Kesnet just gets like baited in when he yeah. throws the knife. It's, the text it's a must win for like, crew. They can't use their Pretty much. Send it right now. We have chamber over towards here. We're not doing much B pressure, decision. dude. FPX are going. Oh, FPX are having. We've been waiting for it to be used. Okay. And now I was gonna say they're going A a lot recently, but Viper Alt goes out. We see them change over. Recon goes middle, but they don't shoot it. Are we going to try and take a timing with that after? There's probably going to be some spam, but... Okay, no, so we're going to five-man group up. What's the util like to push the chamber off? Prowler doesn't push him off. It doesn't go far enough. They get Ardis over towards the angle. They have a nice little setup play with these two. Are they going to be ready? It's looking like Sagetsu is holding for this. So Sage is going to take it and then Chamber is going to peek. But as we can see, two people are watching the Chamber. So if Chamber actually decides to peek here, he's absolutely right. Knife goes in. Chamber cannot TP out. But he does go away. So he at least creates a lot of pressure that he's behind Yellow. But the, hey, nice util. Nice nade. It's been a nice hit from FX so far. we still got the wall. Shao still has his wall to plant. Um, four people here for the angle. That's three people here for name, but he can't quite crew. Oh the boy, center. Angel might have owned this with land sound. With land sound, Angel's absolutely owned this. They have absolutely no idea, and the snake bite has done so much damage to the res as well that Nags is now tagged desperately low, just needing to try and clear this aggressive position from the IGL. Bear in mind, the rest are already looking to try and wrap him from behind, but Angel is just doing absolutely everything. He's finally gone down. Okay, three and three. A lot of this is up to Ardis. Nice wall, though. Nice, I mean, nice retake wall in general. Ardis does get a kill. Do they know about the flank? No. Okay, still. Oh boy, time. Oh, it's going to be close. Nice from Sagetsu. Managed to win it. That was going to always be really, really close. Really, really close. I was um. Yeah, I mean it's fine. Goes to FPX. That's the thing. If that wall okay, is three chances, longer, and crew have really bad money going into this. From eight, Klaus made the right decision. It's like he would have been dead for sure if he tried. Feel like recently mid doesn't get utilized too much. Um, it's it's a weird map again. Like mid, mid is. I am really loving this. It's hard to um. They are having trouble it's kind of hard to. So he is just taking so much. It's kind of hard to take it. Can go uh, down like as a completely cleanly, to it's hard to get doing. into kitchen last cleanly sometimes. The, the old uh, FPX, the, the, the comp that FPX used last now, time, where they're using the the wall, satchel up to here nice and the boom bottom and stuff, was a pretty good way of, yeah. of clearing it. But honestly, what most teams, how most teams approach this map is, they literally five man until it gets shut down, right? Oh my god, look at this util. Look at this hit. It's so good. This is the thing. It's so hard to hold. The overwhelm potential on A is just so strong. Hey, 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 relax yourselves. What you all doing? It's always Angel. Why is Angel always the one that overpeaks the most? Why is it always the IGL? It should never be happening. Angel's just his own little beast, man. Angel plays his own his own different game. He does what he wants. Nice game from them.
Looks like it. He's having a great time. And I don't really blame Very nice from them. Because they did great. Um, the series again and going, okay, good mix up though, right? Uh, and I think this kind of shows to just. I felt like they. Their adaption to the first time they played was really good. It's very simple, right? They looked into a lot of how, uh, and this might be you, Nilzino, as well. Might be a lot of just like looking at that last game. They they just lost a five man all the time. So on, on the on defense, they just heavier risk rotate all the time, and it, and it really paid off. They got way more rounds on defense than they did last time. So definite shout out to uh, potentially you, to be honest, now. Potentially that's potentially that's on you, but uh, you, Doom Bros, maybe Angel, someone like that. It, it was nice. Looks a little bit risky on the mini-map, but honestly, con considering how they played before, it's, uh, it was a good call.